So we're parked at the mechanic because yesterday we heard a ticking noise coming from our engine. We Googled it and it said it could be anything like low oil, but we checked our oil and it wasn't low. They can't even get to it to, they have to take it apart to diagnose it and they don't have anything open till the end of the week. Everything else in the area they say is probably a month out from even being able to get to it. And then once they do diagnose it, they said it's potentially a two to three week job. So it looks like we're leaving the bus. So it's not good news. Our house. Hi house. We just picked the bus up. We tried to get to the mechanic first thing this morning because we have a long list of chores to do. So we moved all our stuff back in. Well, we threw all of our stuff on the bed, um, but now we need to get groceries, dump out the water that's been sitting in our water tank for two months, refill our water tank, and all the fun things that come with living in a bus. So come along with us as we do our chores. We're in the parking lot of an old mall and we're gonna drain our water tank because probably a little gross after sitting for two months not moving just stagnating so because it's just our like fresh water clean water tank we don't feel too bad about putting it down a storm drain um, obviously with our gray water and stuff we will find a dump station for that we just pulled over at a gas station to fill up our tank and I went inside and asked if we could hook up to their spigot and they said yes so just shows always ask the worst thing they can say is no. And they were super excited to see the bus. So I think the pressure's a little low, so it might take a while to fill up our big tank, but at least we're getting water. Here comes the water. It's been a little tight making all of our timelines and getting our chores done, but we just got some groceries at Walmart and we are ready to head to our campsite because I got to work soon. Yep, we've got a harvest host for the night, so it's a cute little farm and hopefully we just get to unpack all night. <laughs> See you there. We just got to our harvest host for the night. We are staying at a maple syrup farm and we went to talk to the guy to check in and he gave us a whole tour of the maple syrup production setup and everything. And we of course bought some syrup for the bus, but then he gave us a tub of ice cream just as a gift um but our freezer like just turned on a couple hours ago so it's definitely not a temperature yet so we need to eat the ice cream now before it melts ice cream is delicious gavin is at work so i am going to spend the rest of the afternoon getting the bus ready to live in again the first step is just getting ready to camp tonight so i need to turn on the water and turn on the propane our water pump switch is under our bed so i'm just gonna turn on the pump Woo! Next up is propane. This is really amazing. Our host told us to feel free to explore the woods on the property and I'm walking around and there's just a maze of tubes between every single maple tree and it's how they harvest the sap, obviously, but it's just like incredible to see like every single one of these little green lines <laughs> running from tree to tree to tree and they all have these little nubs that you know that's where it connects to the piece that goes into the tree for the sap to come out of but wow it just goes on and on Good morning, it was 43 degrees here when we woke up, which is a big change from when we left in early August, and the place is still a mess. Um, but we were totally fine and cozy, even without our heater on, which that took some troubleshooting, but we did get that going this morning. Something we did not expect was our plant-based dish soap completely crystallizing in the cold, so 
I have that in front of the heater now trying to melt it back down into a usable consistency and we are getting ready to head to our next stop. When we got back our gray water tank was a little stinky so we're gonna dump it because you know, when in Rome. Stinky. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's the only place with trees. The only place with obstructions, and you point that way. All right, it's been two months. Finally back. Finally, I can get my face back, so. Yay! Here we go, got my own barber shop everywhere in the world. Now we have a choice for when we're filming. You can go straight down the middle for the half and half. I can keep the mustache for now. Yeah, you could be anyone. I could be anyone. <laughs> it's so good. And that's all that's left. Wow, my head looks so skinny now. Okay, it's time for that to go. <laughs> How does it feel? I am free. I can feel the breeze. I can feel the bugs. Emily is driving us into the Adirondacks this morning and based on the foliage trackers, we are maybe just before the peak, but it's definitely well on its way to that. It's pretty close to peak. So I hope you're ready because we're going to be rolling that beautiful leaf footage a lot. Look at it. It's fall. It has the juice. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. So we just drove, I don't know, less than a quarter mile down a nice thin gravel road to an amazing parking spot. The only issue is we don't know if we're going to have internet or not and we obviously need to be able to work. So fingers crossed for us, we're going to set up our internet and see if it works because I want to stay here. Should I show them the parking spot? Yeah, it's amazing. Hold on, I gotta unlock the door. <laughs> it's like, this is what you dream of when you do bus life. This is the spot. Hold this. Ready? So we really want to make this spot work because it's perfect, but it looks like Starlink isn't going to get anything with the trees above us. And we have never really gotten our Wii Boost to seem to work correctly. So we're trying to do some troubleshooting. We put the interior antenna for that all the way on the floor under the steering wheel to try to get some distance between that and the exterior antenna. Because apparently the problem could be oscillation if the interior antenna is reaching the exterior antenna and then the exterior antenna is trying to boost the signal from itself and it kind of gets in a feedback loop and doesn't work well. So. That seems to have helped a little bit. Um, we have internet, it's just let's slow. Let's see how our speed test is going here. This is us trying to use our Nomad internet, which is just going off of the signal from the Wii Boost. I know we haven't really talked about our internet with you guys yet. We've been meaning to do a video about that, but not getting a whole lot. Apparently my app just crashed. Um, like two to three Mbps, which I don't know if I can work on. I was hoping I would have a little bit more than that, but yeah, I don't know.
just right up the road from where we parked here on this little trail road is a trail. So before I start working today, we're just gonna go take a little hike and explore a little bit. Which means we're staying at the cool site. Gavin Cam. Emily Cam. Boink. Well, I think it's safe to say we have settled back into bus life pretty nicely. Yeah, it's been a little hectic getting organized to get back on the road, but we are getting back into the swing of things and we are happy to have you all here with us again. Yeah, thanks for waiting for the last two months for us to um, get back into the bus. We've been impatient too about it and we're excited to take you on more adventures and show you more of the Adirondacks next week. But for now, we're gonna enjoy this campsite. Yeah, see you soon. Love you. Bye, love you.